This is a real brain. With this brain, somebody could hear, see, remember. It's a microprocessor of man and it is mega complex. The more we are active physically and mentally, the more the brain is able to renew its parts. The more we know about how it works, the better we know why it sometimes crashes, like in Alzheimer's disease. The person here at the Netherlands Institute for Neuroscience who is doing that wonderful research is Yevgenia Salta. Can you tell us what you are investigating? Yes, sure. This is a piece of uh, brain tissue from the Netherlands Brain Bank, which is part of our institute. They collect and store brain tissue from deceased individuals of different ages for research purposes. With our research, we want to understand why in Alzheimer's patients, some brain cells get damaged or die. This is the main cause of memory loss and dementia. In the lab, we investigate whether these cells that are lost can be replaced by new cells. Aha, uh -huh. and this is possible? I hope so. Normally, we all make new neurons throughout our life. But perhaps only when we have a mental and physically active lifestyle, right? That's definitely true. This is what a healthy brain looks like. And to compare, do you also have a, a brain of a patient who suffered from Alzheimer's disease? Yes, this is a heavily affected Alzheimer's brain from an individual who suffered severe memory loss. As you can see, the main difference is the fact that the Alzheimer's brain is way smaller than the healthy brain. So uh, here uh, we see what we indicate as atrophy of the brain, in other words, shrinkage of the brain. And you can also see that there is an enlargement of the ventricles inside the brain. What is particularly interesting is that we see brains with Alzheimer's pathology from individuals who did not experience memory loss. And in those brains, we also see that more new cells are born. This particular instance may hold the key for finding new therapeutic strategies to rejuvenate the dying brain. Of course, this means many years of hard work. How do you motivate yourself to keep up the good spirit here? I have myself a family member who suffers from Alzheimer's and I know how devastating this disease can be both for the patients and for their families. This at least keeps me motivated to keep trying to find new ways to tackle the disease. Do you have any idea if you can speed up a little bit the research because we, you know, we like to have our solutions tomorrow? By doing more research, of course. By doing more fundamental research, because this is absolutely the solution for understanding more about the mechanisms underlying diseases like Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease, obesity or multiple sclerosis. So good luck with your wonderful research. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.